Once a giant, always a giant. For me, it's only a giant. What's going on YouTube, Diggy546? Definitely hit that subscribe button if you're new. Like the video if you like the video. And I won't tell if you click that bell. But let's go ahead and get into this. So nobody can say this. Nobody can say that Daniel Jones isn't putting in work. He's working out with, with Kenny Galladay, you know, the, the second he gets signed. He's working out with Shep and, and Barkley and... Well, he didn't work out with Saquon this year because he was rehabbing. But he was working out with Shep and Darius Slayton and Evan Ingram and, you know, guys that were towards the bottom of the roster, you know, as soon as the offseason ended. Daniel Jones has been consistently putting in work. They, they, they did an interview with Saquon Barkley talking about how hard Daniel Jones works. He said he has an amazing work ethic. Anybody in the facility can see it. Joe Judge talks about how hard he works. And these aren't just like tongue in the cheek, just just statements that people are saying. This is consistent. People that, that don't need to speak up for him say how hard he works. His old coach, you know, um, Cutcliffe talked about how hard he worked. So yesterday, Duke, you know, Duke's football program posted a picture of Daniel Jones and Jamison Crowder, who went to Duke. They got some work in yesterday uh, or maybe it was the day before. But it just shows that this dude is just, he's not one of those guys that's mailing it in that says, I'm a first round pick. I got my money. I can relax now. Daniel Jones, if he fails, it'll be because he just, you know, he failed. He's never going to be, you know, there's a quote that says, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. I think Daniel Jones is talented and I think he's working hard. So that that's that's how you get elite you know, Hall of Fame, and I'm not projecting him because he's going to have a Hall of Fame career, but that's how you get those elite, top of the league caliber players when you have extremely talented people that also work hard. And I think, you know, he's got everything that you need. He's got the arm. We've seen it. They tried to say he didn't have an arm, and guess what? His first start, he, he you know, he rolls left, back pedals, and launches the ball like 60 yards off of one foot. So he's got the arm. He's got the speed. I mean, we've seen him hit 21 miles an hour. He's not faster than Lamar Jackson, but he's fast. He's, he's fast. He's one of the fastest quarterbacks in this league. And, you know, if you give him a lane, you could give up six. He's got all of the athleticism combined with, in my, in my opinion, he's got great accuracy. And when you look at the tape, most of the time where Daniel Jones is trying to throw it to, the ball gets there. And the ball gets there, you know, precisely. So he's got the accuracy. The only time where I could say that he just really was really off target was that Buccaneers game. He was missing throw after throw. Don't know what was going on with that. But other than that, he's always shown that he has great accuracy. So that's everything that you need in the quarterback. The other things are decision making. Now, for the most part, I would say he's been decent in decision making. There's been times where he's made horrible decisions. And there's been times where he's been elite in decision making. Like this past season, he had the longest streak without an interception of any quarterback in the league. The guy that they say had, you know, ha has broken records for turnovers and all of this stuff. If anybody with half a brain looks at Daniel Jones's career and tries to compile all the turnovers from the second that he stepped on the field and use that as as a tell a tell for how he's going to play this year, you're not thinking. Because if you look at the, the second half of last season, or even the second three quarters of last season, Daniel Jones was not a turnover-prone quarterback in any way. In, in, in any way. If you look at the stats, I mean, I can do other videos where I actually pull up the actual numbers, but he was not a turnover-prone quarterback in the second half of last season at all. I mean, the guy, he missed what? two, three, four games maybe. I think it was two games actually this year. He had, what, 10 interceptions. If he was as much of a turnover kind of guy as people would thought, I mean, he'd be, he'd be up close to 26, 27 interceptions. Or if you want to take away the two games, I mean, he'd be up towards at least 18. But he's improved in that. He's improved in all of these areas. And he needs to be given credit. And I see him putting in the work. We saw him working out with that pitching coach a couple of months ago. He's putting in all the work necessary to become an elite quarterback. So when I say 
that I think Daniel Jones is going to take that huge next step. I'm saying it because I see him putting in the work. While I'm making videos, while I'm putting out, you know, videos, he's he's working out probably right now. Who knows what he's doing right now? But he's putting in that work. And, and it, it just speaks volumes because this is a dead time of the season. Coaches literally tell their, their assistant coaches, listen, have fun, be with your family, go and relax. Because this this period between the end of OTAs and the start of training camp is, or not the end of OTAs, the end of mini camp and the start of training camp is a dead period. You've seen probably about five or six videos from me in the last you know two or three weeks when I've been uploading every day. That shows you how slow things are for the NFL. And this is when people just pick the time to spend with their families and relax and rejuvenate and recuperate. Not Daniel Jones. He's out there moving. He's really out there putting in all the necessary work he needs. And it just makes me happy because I really feel like most of professional sports and most of sports in general is who's going to work harder than, than the competition. Who, who's who's going to put in the work? If you think of all of the bust, think of, you know, people try to say Jamarcus Russell. People say uh, all of these quarterbacks that didn't turn out okay. First off, half of them had bad attitudes, like Ryan Leaf. He had, he had a horrible attitude. Uh, Dwayne Haskins had a horrible attitude, entitled, didn't want to work. And have you ever seen a, a bust at quarterback? Have you ever seen someone like that 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 ran a, you know, who knows what his 40 was? He ran like a 4840, but as far as speed, that ran as fast as DJ can run. That, that has the arm that he has, that has the size that he has, that has the accuracy that he has. I have not seen any quarterback with these kind of measurables that worked hard, that everybody talked about how hard they worked, that didn't pan out, that didn't at least become a, a, an above average quarterback. You know, forget elite, forget all pro. Just by being that talented and working hard, you should be an above average quarterback. And that's exactly what I expect from him this year. I mean, I just can't think of any quarterback that has done this that just hasn't panned out. I feel like the times where, where quarterbacks become bust, it's because of bad attitude, uh, not wanting to work, not putting in those extra hours. I mean, the, the whole Jamarcus Russell story where the coach gave him a playbook that was blank and asked him, you know, how did you like the playbook? And Jamarcus Russell said, yeah, I, l- I looked over everything and it was blank. So... That just shows if Jamarcus Russell had this kind of work ethic, if he put in all of the work that, that, that DJ is putting in, Jamarcus Russell was probably still playing quarterback if he wanted to play that much. But guys, just check out. So I'm excited. To, from, from what I'm seeing from DJ, it makes me really excited because we've got the weapons. He's putting in that extra work to make sure that he can click with these new weapons to make sure that he's a better player than he was last year. And I can't wait to see it. So you guys let me know what you're thinking of all of this work that DJ is putting in. Do you think that it's going to translate into him becoming a good quarterback? Or do you think that, you know, he, he's done it no matter how hard he works, we're going to be picking another quarterback? Either way, at this point, we're going to have two first round picks, two third round picks and two fourth round picks, maybe two seconds. I can't remember, but we're going to have a ton of picks next year if we had to move up. And hopefully we won't. Hopefully we can use those picks to bolster the team, to build depth on a team and and really put together a serious contender for the next coming years, because all of those picks are going to turn out, you know, at least half, I think, are going to be good players. So you guys let me know what you're thinking of DJ this offseason and what you're expecting from him this upcoming season. If you made it this deep into the video, come on, just hit the subscribe button. I make Giants content primarily, draft content secondarily, and... During the season, I'm going to be doing a lot of reacting to pretty much most of the NFL games and everything NFL. So if you made this deep, go ahead and join the D6 squad.